Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. And before we get into today's video, where I'm going to start losing my temper, I'm not going to. I'm going to try my best not to. Well, I won't. But I'm just going to obviously hammer him. I'm going to, going to get it stuck in there with Richard Keys and the absolute nonsense that he's came out with. As you can tell him the title and stuff. But before we do that and go into that mode, uh, just want to just be positive off, off the back of yesterday's win against Spurs. Just continue being positive on a buzz. It's got nothing to do with the, the rant that's coming. Obviously, absolutely over the moon waking up this morning and seeing Newcastle United in that top four. Mental, unbelievable times seeing us there in that top four. And I was on Sky Sports News today talking about that. And it's just, just it's crazy how good things are now. I mean, we went from talking about relegation battles to can Newcastle get top four. I mean, it's crazy. It's a crazy time. It's an amazing time as a Newcastle United fan. Probably the best ever for me. So if you want some more positivity, you want all that stuff, um, check out the, the interviews on a little bit on the Magpie Channel Twitter, the, the Instagram and stuff. So have a look at that. And uh, it's still being played on Sky Sports News now, to be, to be fair. And for all the good positive energy from yesterday's win over Tottenham, check out the match reaction, player ratings and the watch along if you haven't seen it already. Now then, new day, new topic, new wanker. Well, he's not, he's not new, is he? He's always been a wanker, to be honest. Richard Keyes, hasn't he? This is from a bloke that got sacked from Sky and pretty much banned from working in this country because he was sexist. And there was loads of other stuff that's gone on. Just Google Richard Keyes. I'm not going to get into the logistics of why he's in a massive arsehole, uh, the, the, the things that he's done, he's not a nice person, is he, from what we've seen in the press, not at all, so you can do your own research on that, I'm not going to bang the drum on that, I'm just going to talk about this video, this clip from BN Sports that came out last night, it was all over Twitter and stuff, where he's saying, right, okay, so Richard Keyes and Andy Gray, again, two morons, two you know, idiots who got sacked from, from Sky from this country for the way they went on and behaved, bang out of order. But on BN Sports last night, they were kind of talking about, you know, after Newcastle United's win against Spurs, you know, how big on Newcastle, how far can Newcastle go, can they be in the top four? And we're just, this is what this muppet, this absolute sausage, Richard Keyes said. And to be fair to Andy Gray, he was kind of like a bit bewildered and he was like, oh, you know, you don't really make much sense there, you, you sound like a bit... Even I think Andy Gray was like cringy, cringing a little bit at Richard Keyes and... Kind of thinking you should probably stop talking now. You're digging yourself a hole. You're making yourself look like a right twat. Bigger than you normally do. But he kept on going. Richard Keyes. And he was kind of saying like point proven. We'll get into this. But what he did was. Right. So he started off. By saying that Newcastle won't ever be able to get. As big as the likes of Chelsea and Arsenal and Man United and stuff. Even though Man United is a monster. Obviously. Uh, because they're not in London. We're not in London. So we're never going to be able to get that big. We're never going to be able to attract the biggest and best players. To become the biggest and best team because we're not in London. Forgetting the fact that Man City aren't in London. And they're St. Holland, the best player in the world, the most up and coming young striker on the planet, yeah? And they've got De Bruyne and all the rest of them. Does he forget that that's north, that it's a few hours away from London still, just like Newcastle, helmet. And he goes on and on, he's saying that Newcastle United should move their training ground closer to London. They should move the base to London, he says, well, what's, what's the difference? What's the point of being in Newcastle? There's no there. There's nothing in Newcastle. What's the point of the players being there? They don't need to be there. They're wasting their time being there. He says they're on the plane two, three times a week, going to different games. To see if we're in Europe already. On the plane two, three times a week. We'll go on a bus to an away game once a fortnight. We're not on a plane two, three times a week. He's like, what's the point of living in Newcastle? You know what I mean? They're there for no reason. If they move the training ground to London, then they close out the away games. This bloke is just fucking out of this world. How is he still... I think it's just these outlandish, outrageous opinions is clearly why he's still on TV because why would you be employed any otherwise? You'd, he's just happy to look like a moron, isn't he? He's solely soul. He's happy to say stupid things for a paycheck because saying that Newcastle should move their training ground to London, to the base to London. They should always... Newcastle should train in London... Five days a week, he says, and then go to the game. If it's a, if it's a home game, then they just get, they just go up to Newcastle for the day and come back. And that's it. They don't need to be based in Newcastle. There's no point. I mean, is this bloke for fucking real, man? What do you mean you don't need to be here? How can you just start? It's not NBA, you know. You can't just start moving teams all over the place and moving and travelling all over the place for games. How could you try and sell, be, be called Newcastle United and be in bloody Essex? Once you're close to London, how are you going to be living down London? All the... Uh, being in London, being called Newcastle United, and then coming up to Newcastle for a home game from the home side that's living in 
London. What? <laughs> what? The bloke is just outrageous with the stuff he's coming out with, man. He's basically saying that Newcastle need to move everything to London if they want to become one of the best teams because nobody, none of the top players are going to move to Newcastle because he says it's always raining there. Did you see the weather at Tottenham yesterday, mate? Storm. Newcastle. Wasn't much better, actually. But it's still the point that it's, you know, it's not like we're in a different climate. That in London, it's like Cancun. And in Newcastle, it's Cowgate. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not like it's that, it's like, it's not much of a difference. There's a, there is a little bit of difference when you go down further down south. I think when you get King's Cross, you get off the train, it's a bit warmer. But you can see it still pisses down a lot of the time. It's still grey. It still gets dark at the same time. It's not like it's a different planet. It's a different country. All right, we're a few hours away. So you head up and Richard Keyes about moving, moving the ground. But I'm surprised he doesn't just say, oh, well, we should ask Arsenal if, if we can play at the Emirates. When, when Arsenal aren't playing then, evolve the uh, home. When, when Arsenal's away, we'll play at the Emirates and then vice versa. Oh, the bloke is an absolute heed the ball, an absolute sausage. I can't get over the stuff he comes out. Newcastle. So we won't be able to, so what about the 90s then? When David Ginola was here and he came out and said it was his favourite club he's ever been at, best fans, best city. We're not taking that into account now. What about all the players that were signed in the 90s, the early 2000s, top, top players, even now. Bruno Gimoresh coming to Newcastle in the January transfer window in a relegation battle. One of the best midfielders in the league. No, I'm not going to talk about that. His argument was that apparently Yarmolenko got the choice between Newcastle and West Ham. He asked his agent where those clubs are based. The agents say, well, Newcastle's in Newcastle, a, a city in the northeast of England, and West Ham is in London. So he chose West Ham because it was in London. And then Richard Keyes was looking all smug, saying, see, don't you, meh, don't you? Point, point proven is what he said. Point proven. You've used one example across thousands and thousands of players right there. And, you know, and fair enough to Yarmolenko and some other players might want to be in London because it sounds good, it sounds fancy, they've seen it on films. Oh, we we'll live in London, we we'll live in the capital. I'd rather live in Newcastle, that's for sure, that's why I came back. You know I mean, down south last year in Southampton, close enough to London, in London every week for work. I like going there for work, you know, the day of sports stuff, I love that. But the choice of living somewhere, I live in Newcastle all day, and that's why I do. It's the best city in the UK, one of the best in the world. And I'm not just saying it because I'm from here, well, I probably am because I've got an affection with it. But when you look around, right, you look at the quayside, you look at the bridges, you look over the city centre, the history, the castle, um, the people, everything. It's a beautiful place, Tynemouth, the coast, Northumberland. It's an unreal area, Newcastle. It's massively underrated by the rest of the country. Right, well, in football terms, especially in, in, in maybe media and stuff, but uh, it's an amazing city. It's an amazing place. It's an amazing region. So Richard Keyes just hasn't got a fucking clue what he's talking about. Sitting there in the Middle East, getting paid millions and millions to talk absolute bollocks about moving the training ground. I mean, what a ridiculous thing to say. What a ridiculous idea. I have to move the training ground, eh? I tell you what we'll do. We'll just we'll just train in uh, Chelsea five days a week, and then we'll get the uh, the plane up to Newcastle for when we play Chelsea at home. Chess keys, too many keys is what Richard's been doing. He's had too many keys. Sausage, what he is. I can't be asked to give any more of my time on Richard Keys. All right, but that's that's about it for him. Uh, just the uh, unbelievable statement saying that for Newcastle to become the best team to be in the top four to win leagues, we need to move to London. <laughs> right, so I'll, next time I see Amanda, I'll let her know, eh? I'll ask her. Next interview with Amanda, I'll say, oh, Amanda, got a good idea, yeah? It's from uh, Richard Keyes, you know, the broadcaster who got... Fa yeah, yeah, him. Uh, he thinks that we should move move the training ground. You know how you think about building a new one? Move to London. What do you think about that? You want to move back to London? You, you want to be in London, Amanda? You and me, Dad? Yeah? Eddie? Everyone? Get yourself back down London. How's that sound? Bonkers. Is how it, how it sounds. Oh, outrageous. Like, he just, he just knows it's not a possibility. He knows it's a fucking stupid thing to say. But he says it. Because it, this, it works for him. He's got views now. And people who, if you don't know who Richard Keyes is, now you do. You're going to be Googling him. So it works for him, I suppose. I'm the idiot. You know what I mean? No, Keyes is the idiot. Keyes is the only... It was funny how I was scratching my nose at the same time. He's the idiot. He's the only idiot, yeah. Richard Keyes. Well, the bigger idiot. Probably am a little... What a sausage he is. I just... It's mental that he's coming out with stuff like that and he's a paid pundit. That's what he's getting paid to talk about. Crazy, ridiculous idea. Anyways, let me know what you think of Richard Key's idea to move Newcastle's base, to base the players, the coach, everything in London. Or closer to London, he says. So, you know, like I say, take your pick. Uh, Essex, maybe even Southampton. It's an hour away. 
Further down the country, the better, according to Keys. You know what I mean? Bonkers. Bonkers from the moron Keys. All right, cheers for watching, everyone. Please subscribe to my Play Channel TV. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one.